Hey friends, welcome back to Bit Fumes. I'm your host Sarthak, and you can also call me Uncle. This is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. So in this episode, we are going to create the click event for our list item, and also we are going to change the model. The pop up came out when we click on the item and adding new item. So in the last episode, let's see what we have designed. we have created this system that means the list system and when i click on this plus button it will show me the pop up the model okay so now what i want obviously i want to create new item for that i have to write and for writing i need a input text box so what i will do i will just delete this system and instead of this i will create a new input box so let's see how will we do that i have this one fine body and instead of this i will say input type text input type text and also i will give a placeholder and i will say write item here and after this uh, what i want obviously i want a id so that i can access it via jquery okay so i will get give it id of add item okay this this will be add item so let's see what we have changed so when i click here we get the text box okay and now what i want i want to i want that text box to be expand on the whole of the model for that what i will do i will just create a class of form control so again class form control this good let's see refresh hit again and yep we have and now next thing is i want the title to be uh, add new item and i don't want these two buttons i want a single button called add new or simply add okay so i will go here and here what i want as i told you i want a new button called oops I want a I want a new button and obviously for creating a new button we can say whole thing as the save changes but for now what I will do I will just press Control Shift and D and it will create the replica of the same line okay and now I will just change the text add item okay and here what I I can do I can just create a ID of I will say add button. okay and now the title and the title will be obviously add new item i think it's good so let's go hit refresh click here and everything is fine instead of these two buttons so what i will do i will just hide these buttons so i will go here and i will create a new style for this button style display none and copy this thing also for save changes and why i am doing this because we need these save changes and close button okay so we need and when we need we unhide these we show these buttons so refresh click here and we get only single button So now what I want I want the click event for each and every item. So let's go here at the bottom and now I will create a new script and here I will just type ready and you can see I have the suggestions because I have used the jquery package for the sublime. So when I hit enter it will just create the uh, syntax for me. And now what I want I want to grab each and every id so I will create a new a uh, class for each and every id so i will just select items and hit uh, control d 1 2 3 4 times so you can see we have selected each and every item word and now i will press right button so every the every cursor is at the right place okay and now with the space i will give a new class of uh, our item okay so we have given the r item class to each and every list item so let's go here at the bottom and now here what i will do i will just create with the id so i will say this 
id and what i want i want to write this line the click event line for each and every item okay so what i will do i will just create a each loop that means this will work for each and every ally list items so here what i will do i will just say this dot click and here i will just say for checking i will say console dot log and simply say done okay so now go here hit refresh open the console log developer tool we have and now when i click here let's see whether we have working or not so here done 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 that means we have everything so now next task is we have to get the text of this ally so what i will do here instead of this i will create a variable var mm, text is equal to i will get the id sorry i will get the text of the list item so i will say this dot text okay and instead of done i will get the log for the text okay and now go hit refresh and when i click on the first link the first ally let's see what happened you can see at the bottom we have the text of this item so when i click on other one yep we are getting each and every item text okay now next task is to pop out the uh, model so for that obviously the same thing we have to do as we have given this this thing so let's go and we have to give for every ally so just select one and press control d one two three four times and now paste and you can see it's very easy with the sublime so now hit enter no <laughs> refresh and now what i will do i will click here and we can see we have the model okay so next thing is to give the item list text to the text box or the input box we have inside our model okay so what i will do i will go here and now for the text box we have given the id of add item and here what i will do i will just say dollar parenthesis and add item and dot val will be the text okay so that means what we are doing we are getting the text from the ally and giving it to the text box the input box okay so here we have done let's check it again when i click here what i want the same thing we have given the text here next yes we have everything correct okay so now what i want i want to change this item i want here the title to be the edit new not new edit item simply edit item and obviously here i want three buttons one is delete one is save changes and other is close if it doesn't matter if you have close or not because when i click on the outside of the model it will just gone away so let's go here and what we can do just we can just make this delete, delete button so instead of close i will say delete i will not use the close button as i have told you and i will give a delete of id simply delete and save changes id i think you guessed right save changes okay so here we have and obviously for changing the title i have to say title that means id of title so what i want when i click on the list item i want the id that means the id of title title oops what happened title will be title of text will be the edit item okay so i think it's good and now 
I want to show the delete button and also the save changes button and obviously for delete button I will give a warning okay the class of warning okay and now what I will do I will just press ctrl shift D two times so it will create a replica of these two so that I can just make the changes for the ID so ID will be delete and what I want this delete button to show so I will say show simply and inside the parenthesis you have the two functions the first one is the uh, speed that means how much faster it is or slower it is so I will say 400 milliseconds and I don't need and now I will delete this and same thing for the save changes so delete this one and I will say here save changes okay so everything is looks nicer so let's check hit refresh click on any one of the item and you can see we have the save changes the delete but I don't want the add new so just hide this so I will just say what that button ID is add button oh button and instead of show I will say hide okay so here it is hit refresh click on any one of the item and you can see we have delete and save changes and edit item the title the item inside here okay so I think we have completed each and everything in this episode we, in, in the next episode we are finally going to use the ajax the post request from jquery so we will meet in the next episode till then if you have any problem in this episode feel free to comment me and if you have any problem in my other episodes feel free to comment me and you can follow me on twitter facebook and instagram you can message me on facebook you can share your errors with me so that we can find the solution of that error okay I love the way you are responding to me. You are very awesome uh, audience I am I'm getting and the love I'm getting from each and every subscriber on YouTube and also on the Facebook. This is incredible. So I'm very thankful to all of you and I'm going to create new and new video and thanks for the donation some of you have given me because of that I'm going to enhance my channel. The Bitfilms channel will continue to give you the, the best quality videos and obviously your request, my knowledge and we will rock together. We'll meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.